during the early part of the hurricane season was fun, whisper quiet. Now we're at peak and things have changed a lot. There are five storms or developing systems out there right now. Fiona, you know, set to sideswipe Bermuda tonight as a Category 4, 130 mile an hour winds. Then it's going to cross into Canada. Meteorologists say untracked to be the strongest storm on record to hit the eastern Canadian coast. It's the same storm, of course, that flooded Puerto Rico four days ago. According to PowerOutage.com, nearly a million people on that island still don't have any lights. And now forecasters are very closely tracking this. See it there? A new tropical disturbance in the southeastern Caribbean. They're calling it Invest 98L. <laughs> the chance this develops into a powerful hurricane is growing by the day. And the spaghetti models here suggest what will likely become Hermine could very likely impact the United States. Meteorologists predict the storm could head into the Gulf of Mexico by the middle of next week. Now, that's a problem because the warm water there, it's hot water, is like rocket fuel for the storms. And because the Gulf is critical for America's oil supply, dozens of oil refineries dot the coastline. It's the primary offshore source of oil and gas. If the storm follows the projected path, it could impact far more than just those in the southeast. According to the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, the Gulf generates 97 percent of all U.S. oil and gas production. And the Energy Information Administration report, it accounts for more than 47 percent of all U.S. petroleum refining capacity. That means any disruption in the Gulf South could push gas prices higher, which is the last thing this inflation-ridden economy needs. Adam Del Rosso is the senior meteorologist at AccuWeather. Adam, it, it's early, I get it, but it's good to have a heads up. Is this one to watch? It most certainly is. Anyone with interests along the Gulf Coast of the U.S., you need to pay close attention to this storm. It doesn't look impressive right now on satellite estimated radar. That's because of strong winds higher up in the atmosphere or what we call shearing it apart. However, as we head through the weekend and into early next week, that wind shear is going to relax. You also mentioned the very warm Gulf waters. This is going to be working through basically bath water. Temperatures are in the mid 80s right now. And this is going to act like fuel. So this storm will develop and strengthen here. And by the time we head toward early next week, this is going to be close to either Cuba or the Yucatan Peninsula. And there are some question marks with where exactly this goes as we head into the middle of next week. General area, though, is going to be near the Yucatan and Cuba. And if it happens to develop a little farther to the north, then it's going to get caught up by the jet stream here. And that's going to pull it a little farther off to the east. And so the eastern Gulf would be getting the worst of the impacts. But if this storm happens to develop a little farther off to the south and then takes a little bit more of a westerly track, then the central Gulf is going to have to pay close attention to this. And as you mentioned, we're still pretty far out, but anyone along the Gulf, take those early precautions now so that way once we do get toward the tail end of next week, you're ready to go. Shep. Adam Del Rosso, thanks very much.